Hi guys and welcome back to another video on Tish Does Travel. Now have I got a treat this week. So I've been spending some time here. This is Glasson House and it's actually in Ireland. This is my first time in Ireland. Of course, as usual, I'm on a car launch. Guess who with? You can see a couple of Suzuki's there. And as per usual, I'm probably not gonna see that much of Ireland, but I thought I'd bring you along for the trip because there's some cool things planned, which includes going out on a boat. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a small tour of Glasson House, a little bit of Ireland, and I'm also just gonna be bringing you along on my adventures. So if that sounds good, then please keep watching. And if you like travel content and seeing new places, maybe getting some recommendations, then please would you consider going ahead and hitting the subscribe button. But first of all, I am currently in beautiful Ireland, but let me show you how I got there. So we've arrived at Dublin Airport, got all the brightly coloured Suzuki Swift Sports behind us. So there's me, Bex, Amelia in the background, Ted, Naveed, and um, yeah, I think we're gonna, we've got about a four hour journey to get to the hotel. So the plan is to drive from the airport to the hotel, but I think we've got a really nice route planned, which is very exciting. And um, we're gonna semi stick together, but I think we're pretty much just going to, um, yeah, probably stop off when it gets a bit beautiful and then uh, get to the hotel a bit later on. So let's go. So this is what happens when you bring a group of content creators. <laughs> We've got Amelia being filmed over there by Dylan. We've got a 360 camera on that Swift. Okay. We've got Naveed <laughs> with his drone up in the air. <laughs> it's literally all going on. Um, but we're like kids in candy shops because it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. God knows where we are. Somewhere, Ireland. somewhere an hour away from <laughs> Ireland, somewhere an hour away from Dublin in Ireland, but it's absolutely stunning. And yeah, let me quickly show you the view from where we are right now, because, oh, you'd have to see it to believe it. One of my big weaknesses is the fact that I can be just a tad stubborn and unfortunately we were following um, Amelia and Bex and had Dylan uh, with me behind and we were driving to the next location and we were following Bex and then my sat nav decided to tell me that we needed to turn right which I insisted that mine must be correct and hers must be wrong. So I flashed them a couple of times and then decided to take the next right. So it turns out actually my sat nav was trying to get me to do a loop, which was not ideal. So that now means that we've kind of lost the girls or at least I've lost them for about 15 minutes. Not really sure if we're gonna be able to rejoin together because also my phone's not working very well either, which is not ideal. But I'm heading there now to the next waypoint, which is about 10 minutes away. It's a place called Hollywood, which is quite cool. So we're gonna to head to Hollywood now and um, fingers crossed, we can find them again.
So I've stayed in some very, very beautiful hotels, but this has got to be up there with one of the most beautiful. So this is the bathroom, which I'm absolutely loving. Amazing bath, shower, and also the double basin here, which are is very lovely. They've even got, so it's actually called the Lake House, and they've even got their own branded soap very very fancy and then out here we've got the robes um because there is a spa here which i can't wait to use got a few drinks bits some alcohol some snacks look at how many snacks there are and i love this so you've got a smeg fridge with drinks and bits in and then two beds so got a single and a double just me but why not really really love all of this decor as well it's all just such a beautiful color scheme and then you come round, and this is really cute look at this little record player you've got a couple of records down there and then welcome from suzuki and a little card here as well just welcoming me to the place how lovely is that teas and coffees got the seat and then I've actually got a view of the golf course which is a nice view to be fair but wait until I show you Bex's view. So Mrs Jammy over here got and got herself the lake flu. <laughs> you can't see anything at the moment. Look at that. Let me flip it round so I can show you properly. Look at that. So we are literally just about to head out on the lake in a boat and look at this we've got these hot tubs which we've actually booked out tomorrow morning and then over there is a pool which i cannot wait to use but yes we're going to head down now because we're going out on a boat because if you don't know suzuki also build engines for boats so we're gonna go probably um, and hopefully cool down because it's been very, very hot today and I'm actually very excited to get a bit of wind in my hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the latest uh, technology Suzuki, this is what we call a fly-by-wire engine. Traditionally, a boat would have mechanical controls from the controls to the engine. This is all electric. Are you ready? It's <laughs> <laughs> a terribly nice pub and that balloon. We might not come back. Yeah, this is this is the um, this is the Carlsberg of events. We've been on a boat. Carlsberg? We've driven. Do you don't know that term? Loads. It's like Ooh. if Carlsberg did is that events. That's a Suffolk thing. Ooh. I've heard of the phrase, but I don't really understand it. But I get what it's supposed to be. What about Stella? Clearly, these girls don't watch yeah. TV. Goodness. But if Carlsberg did events, it'd be this one here because we've been on the boat. Now we're having a swim, and then we're gonna have dinner later. <laughs> Good morning. We had such a fabulous time yesterday. I can't actually remember how much I kind of filmed, but we went out on the boat, which was excellent. We've literally laughed until our stomachs were in pain. It was so much fun. So Dylan sat at the back 
and was pretty much just getting absolutely covered in water. Um, and then after that, we went for a little swim. I know I vlogged a little bit of that, but didn't say much. So we went for a bit of a swim and then we had some really nice dinner. So I didn't take my phone to dinner, mostly just because not everybody wants to be filmed all of the time, but we had really, really nice dinner. We also did have some personalized Suzuki cocktails, which I'll definitely include in this video because they were fabulous. They were really good as well. They were so, so sweet and yeah, my perfect cocktail. Um, just had a bit of breakfast, avocado toast. That was amazing as well. And now we're gonna jump in the hot tub. Have I got loads that I should be doing instead of going in the hot tub? Yes. Am I still gonna go in the hot tub? Yes. <laughs> um, gonna ignore everything that I'm actually supposed to be doing here, which is work. And I'm going to go and enjoy the hot tub instead. But let's face it, there's always more time that I could be doing my work, isn't there? We'll have to just squeeze it in later. But yes, I will, um, I'll vlog a tiny bit, but I'm with the girls. And I'm also with Jess from Suzuki, so I'm not gonna go shoving my camera in everybody's faces. Um, but I'll give you a little bit of kind of um, the hot tubs and, and how good it is that you can book them here. And yeah, so the next time I see you, I'll be in the tub. So I didn't touch much on it when we first arrived at the airport, but I did include a little clip of the cars picking us up from the plane. So this is Platinum Services, which you can get from Dublin Airport. And I think we've all just been blown away at how utterly amazingly cool this is. Um, so yeah, we've literally just arrived at the airport, dropped the cars back up from where we picked them up from, which is a car park outside the airport. Um, we've come in, sitting in a lounge, We've ordered food, we've got drinks, and they've pretty much taken our passports and our boarding cards, so they know when our plane is, and they're just gonna come get us 45 minutes before the plane takes off. We'll go through security here, so in this little area here, and then straight onto the plane. Literally dropped off at the plane, which is amazing. So if there's any delays, we're really comfortable, we've got all this area, but this is, utterly insane so if this is something that you're interested in doing i could not recommend this more if you wanted to do it but yeah and um next time i'll check in i'll be on the plane I finally landed back in the UK, luckily, no issues whatsoever. I think we were probably like five, 10 minutes late, but pretty much all went swimmingly. Unlike Amelia's flight to Gatwick, which unfortunately there's been an escaped prisoner around Gatwick or Heathrow, and they've grounded quite a lot of the flights, which thank goodness, I mean, I'm really sorry, Amelia. She's pretty much still, so she got on the plane at the same time we got on the plane and she's still um, well, she's just taken off now. So luckily we're not doing that. That's really awkward. Someone's reversing behind me now. Um, but luckily um, we weren't on that flight and we was on Stansted instead. So it's not, not as bad, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. As per usual, it's probably a bit erratic, a little bit here, a little bit there, but I hope you've got a good insight into what a bougie brand trip is like and thank you so much for Suzuki for having us we've had a fantastic time and yeah I'll catch you in the next one see you later